Hello, hello. This is Joshua Terpstra. I am just here to share a quick reflection on the new piece, St. Michael the Archangel. Michael means, who is like God? In so many ways, we know that St. Michael being the leader of God's armies, according to Catholic tradition, we also know that he is uh, a great warrior, um, but he is also an image of the Father. He's an image of God for us. He is like God. If we think back to scripture, we know in the prodigal son, the prodigal father not only waits for his son, but he fights for his son. This is the same that God does for us. He fights for us. He waits for us. And in the battles of the spiritual life, he is our sword and he's our shield. We know in Revelation that St. Michael is the leader of God's armies who fights the powers of evil and we know is victorious in that fight. We know in Catholic tradition that not only is Michael the, the leader of the armies of heaven, but we also know that it's battle cry, if you will, for the armies of heaven against the powers of darkness. Is this not also what we should cry out in our times of struggle, that we might be like God? Not that we might replace God, or not that we might be able to just muscle through and come out victorious, but in this, in this journey of our spiritual lives, we're not trying to just muscle through and make ourselves perfect, but rather it's abiding in the Lord. It's seeking to allow ourselves to be molded by the Lord. Uh, it's that we're called to diligently come to prayer, but not try and dictate what the outcome of that effort might be. Yes, okay, strain forward. Do your greatest effort possible to move forward, to not sin, to take up our daily cross, to build our prayer life, to move forward with discerning what the Lord's will is for our lives, and all of that being encompassed in building intimacy with God. Um, but it's really important to remember that we're not right now who we are made to be. When we wake up and we say, I am not who I should, thank God, you are not who you should be, you know? But as, as time goes on, as we go deeper into our spiritual lives, we get the chance to experience metanoia, to join ourselves to Christ, live out of our baptisms. Just remember, prayer and fasting is the means by which we are made holy. We are called to take up the spiritual battle as Michael does. But know that the Lord is making you to be a saint even though you are not there yet. Be faithful and abide with the Lord. We'll end in a quick prayer, the St. Michael prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining me for another reflection. There will be more to come as the work comes out. Uh, again, big thank you to Exodus for the opportunity to pr uh, produce this work and the opportunity then to share my thoughts and reflections after the fact. You can check out the full blog post when it's up on exodus90.com. You can also check out my work on R at rsakra with an underscore at the end, uh, as well as on my website as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.